All right, so today I want to show you my variant on hammocks and uh, hopefully over the course of the video kind of win you over to my side. As far as bedding goes on the trail, long term bug out bag, the weight, this three pound hammock is worth it. Uh, it is far superior to any bedding that I've ever used, uh, whether it's pads on the ground, whether it's cots, this thing works the best. Uh, and as you're out there on the trail longer and as I've gotten older, being able to have a good night's sleep has been worth the extra weight and uh, it's kind of important, more so than you, you might imagine. Being above the ground, not having skunks or anything else crawling on you, especially the mice, not having the scorpions sting you, which was always fun my first couple of years out on the trail, there are a ton of benefits uh, to having a hammock. Now the one I use is a mesh one. This is from Academy. You can order them online. I don't think they're more than $20. And this is the one that I had and used seven, eight years ago. And this has been regularly used. And it shows absolutely no signs of wear and tear. I see a lot of nylon hammocks out on the trail, kind of tent hammocks or just nylon made. And I have problems with them. I see a lot of people, it might happen day one, day two, day three. But eventually a nick, or maybe somebody left something in their pocket, gets started in the bottom, after a while, rips all the way up, they find themselves on the ground. And we've tried to sew those up several times and it does not work. So this is the way to go. The extra pounds matter, they count. Show you a couple tips. Not so much just this being hooked onto this tree in this way, but uh, I've got some extra ways in which I gear up that allow me to be in mummy bags, that allow my comfort level definitely to be increased with hammocks because I know there's a lot of issues with people falling out of them and uh, that can stay with you. Falling from a hammock several times in the middle of the night can definitely leave a bad impression or a bad taste in your mouth. So check it out. I'm going to show you exactly how I go about setting this up because there are a couple extra parts. So to get started, normal, regular, everyday hammock. Okay, and so you get inside these, they work out really well during the middle of the day, you're good to go. But at nighttime, whenever you're ready to go to sleep, if you're using a sleeping bag or blankets or any of your bedding, you're quickly going to find out that there are issues with this. And if you don't believe me, you should try it a couple times. I actually had a mummy bag in one of my camps. And that was a big mistake, and it took me a long time to figure this out. But a mummy bag and a hammock, you're going to have the air knocked out of you several times. Uh, you're going to fall, and you're going to fall, and you're going to fall. Uh, especially in my horse camps where I had to get up several times a night. This is a bad combination. So I had to, I had to change things up. And the only thing that I've done, a little bit different, is add... A strand of parachute cable on the left tied to several pieces of the hammock and parachute cable on the right tied to a couple pieces of the hammock and what I'm going to do with these is I've got enough of them to extend out as wings to other branches and you can tie these up to whatever you got use what you've got in the area but these are going to allow this hammock to kind of wing out and cradle me and it adds stability in a lot of ways and you'd be surprised at what kind of peace of mind and how much better you sleep because if you're like me I like to move around quite a bit and uh, this was the key to the puzzle this allowed me to use mummy, mummy bags uh, blankets I even, even had an old pillow that I threw in one of them and uh, no issues so let me show you how I rig this up I'm gonna speed up the film and uh, go ahead and set this up and relive a little bit of trail life. So check it out. So let's stop right here. 
Um, if you are not ready for sleep, if you don't have a camp chair or anything you can use as a camp chair, a lot of times I would just secure one side and I'd have several people come and sit down with me. So you sit back, you can lay back, you can still be part of the action and uh, it works out really, really well. Now, when you are ready to go to sleep, I've made this parachute cable going up to this limb uh, extra long and there's a reason for that. Uh, you're not going to be able to tie this off and then climb into bed as easily. So what I would do with this extra line is go ahead and string it, or at least have it where it's accessible, get into the hammock with all my bedding, and simply pull on it and tighten it up. And so I can go and I can tie a simple slip knot. all that's needed and now I have my bed uh, I can move around I can get inside of a mummy bag without having an issue uh, pillows whatever you want to have in here you're good to go and simple saves you time saves you comfort this is what you want to have I'll show you further videos where I show how I install the uh, the tarp I like to have a separate tarp because if you're trying to acquire water, whenever it rains or things like that, tarps are multifunctional. They can be on the ground, they can be up here on top of the limb, they can be strung, and they can be collecting water or doing whatever you've got to do with them. Uh, also, in the winter time, and I've had a lot of uh, people ask this over the years on the trail, you, know, you got a lot of air flowing underneath you. Whenever you're sleeping on the ground, you put a pad on it, it insulates you. So your hammocks are going to get you colder faster in the winter. And what I would do on those days, uh, remembering them quite well, I did pack adequately. I'd have a barrier. But having my hammock just a little higher and having uh, the coals and the hot rocks from my fire and a little bit of oak chips and things like that, about another foot or two above the ground, but I could sleep and have the heat from the fire coming up and uh, that that needs to be a careful thing you need to do some experimenting on that uh, if you get out and sleepwalk or you're very forgetful in the morning you don't want to jump out of your hammock and uh, put your feet into the coals but it is a, a way to keep yourself warm uh, it works out it works out so, this is uh, the variation that I have and this is what I've used again tried and true this is trail knowledge and it worked for me you need sleep whether you're in a survival situation or just uh, out there pleasure camping and this is one of the ways in which you can do so safely and comfortably so hopefully you like this this is an analog video of one of my friends put uh, the link to this above here he's got some pretty cool videos and uh, like and subscribe guys hope you enjoyed it out all right, so let's go ahead and show you some details. This hammock I bought from Academy. I think it wasn't more than $20, but extremely durable, good stuff. And again, if you had to unweave it, you've literally got thousands and thousands of feet of nylon right there. Uh, the knot and the ring, you can take the ring out, put whatever you need in there to kind of minimize the weight. I've got the same ropes on there, and I've just kind of put a horse knot. I'll show you these knots after a while. I've gone ahead and secured both sides using the same knot. Uh, where the variation comes in that I was emphasizing in the video is right here. Now I've got my two half hitches that stays on there, that knot, and a slip knot right here where I can take it off. And this is the one that goes all the way up, back and around, and this is where I can go ahead and tighten it and uh, pretty much tuck myself into bed. So, coming around. On the other side, I permanently secured this one. Uh, I've got the same two half hitches right there. And as you go up, I've thrown a loop in it, and it is permanently affixed to that branch. So, it's a beautiful hammock. It works pretty well. And this is the same one that uh, stayed in many of my camps 
for weeks and weeks and years and years. So it's probably about six or seven years old. I see no wear or tear on it. And it's a quality piece. So hope you learned something. Like, subscribe. Throw me some comments, guys. Have a good one.